Hey, how y'all doing? This is uh, Randy Man Cave, and I just want to wish uh, you know dads out there happy Father's Day. As you can see, my kids got me the best dad ever shirt, which I love and I appreciate. And I thought I'd go ahead and uh, wear it for this video, and uh, you know share this uh, special day for dads who out there do what they do every day. Uh, I'd like to salute to y'all. And, um, you know, keep doing what y'all doing. It's not an easy job, but at the end of the day, we all know we enjoy it. We enjoy taking care of our families and kids. And, uh, you know, so just like to wish y'all a happy Father's Day. So on this video, I could talk about uh, movie sequels in my collection that I feel that's better than the original uh, movie. Uh, I have a, a, a top 10, actually end up with 12, but I want to give out uh, the two honorable mentions before we start the top 10 list, my 10 personal list and my personal collection that I feel like is uh, the sequels are better than the first. Um, so um, for that being said, please, if you all new to my channel, please click the like button. Please subscribe. Please show your love for uh, Rainy Man Cave. I would appreciate that. I love talking about social media, um, mm, social media stuff. I like talking about, uh, you know, home entertainment. Um, you know, man cave slash woman cave, um, home entertainment stuff. I like talk about physical media, I like talk about video games, stuff like that. So uh, if you're tuning in, pre um, please uh, click the like button, please subscribe. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into the list. So first, I'd like to start with my two honorable missions. Uh, I feel like the sequels are better than the uh, first movies. Uh, I won't give a little explanation why I feel like it is. I'm not gonna have this video f um, for so long. I always try to, uh, you know, go through the list as soon as fast as possible and um, get into it. So first, I'm gonna start off with the two other missions. I'm gonna start off with uh, the first. I got uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, Out of the Shadows. Now, I'm not saying it's the best Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I always wanna be a fan of the original ones that came out in 1989, early 90s, uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. That's the one I grew up on and I still watch them, watch them uh, today and I, I still enjoy them. But if we wanna go by sequels better than the first, I was uh, a little amped up about when he was going to redo um, the Turtles movies, you know, the Turtle movies, and I wasn't, I didn't like it. I wasn't that big of a fan of it, but um, I didn't really want to see the second one, so I didn't go to the movies in the second one. When the second one finally came out, I went and rented it from the uh, Red Box. If anybody remember that, uh, I know <laughs> nobody don't do that anymore, but I remember I rented it from the Red Box and I sat down and watched it, and I actually enjoyed it more than I did the first one, and I felt like they should have started off like this. Than, um, than the than the one that came out before this one. So uh, I would say this uh, the second one is way better than the first one. I really enjoyed the second one. It really had some scenes that brought, me, brought some uh, some stuff from my childhood out and um, which I really enjoy. And um, you know, so Team Ninja Turtles Out of the Shadows is not that bad. I really enjoyed it than the first one. I just wish they would have started the move started like this. Like, but at the end of the day, Clearly, second one is better than the first. Uh, also, honorable mention, I didn't make it to my top 10 list, but I really enjoyed the movie. Uh, it was a corny uh, early 90s movie. But uh, before Scary Movie, Hot Shots was uh, was uh, early 90s where they take action movies and put them together and make fun of them. But Hot Shots Part 2, I thought that was uh, way better than the first one. I'm not saying the first one wasn't funny, but the second one is the one I remember the most. And uh, I felt like the second one was just, uh, you know, an early uh, Charlie Sheen back in the 90s when he was popping off. And um, and I really enjoyed this one. Uh, I found a Blu-ray for it and uh, I had to buy it. And, uh, you know, I haven't watched it in a while, but just going and seeing which movies is better than this. For my opinion, I feel like the second one is better than the first one. Hot Shots. If you haven't seen it, check it out. Check out one and then check out two compared to yourself. Uh, and check it out. Let me know what y'all think about Hot Shots Part 2. I feel like it was, uh, was better. But, all right, so top 10 list of uh, which movies in my personal collection. Again, my personal collection. I'm not saying these are the best in the world. I'm not saying this is the best ever. I'm just saying the top 10 sequels, I feel like that was better than the first original movie. Not saying the original movie wasn't good. If it came out with a the first one it was good enough to make a second one i seen all the first ones and i compare it to the sequels and i felt like i enjoyed the sequel a lot not a lot more so start number 10 i have uh son of the hitchhog 2 i felt like part one was pretty good i thought it was a little too overhyped but um 
uh, I, I ain't even go to the movies and seen two, but when two came out first, I love the still book. If y'all have seen my uh, still book, my top 10 still books, I think this one's in the top 10 list. If not, I'm surprised because I love this, the artwork and the still book. And everything. But anyway, I'm getting off subject. But part two, I felt like it was more enjoyable. I watched part two at least about three times, more than I did one. And I clearly love uh, Sonny the Hedgehog 2 with Tells and Jim Carrey performance was uh, funny. I hope it was not his last one. I know he said he called and quits after this came out, but hopefully uh, he come back for a three. But it was funny. I enjoy it flashback from my childhood so if y'all haven't seen it please check it out uh knuckles he was great in here um I, I felt like they did sonic more justice than, than the first one i felt like the first one was just a little bit too many you know humans involved but part two really focused on sonic and the character and tells and pretty much the characters we wanted to see so sonic hit shark 2 clearly better than the first one uh second one is uh and also i just like to get this out i know when it comes to sequels eric you look at it part two and all that stuff but sequels um better than the first i feel like you could throw a part three or part four in there whatever that's how I, if it's after the first i consider it as a, a a sequel from the first i mean that's just me i mean other people say it as well as part two part three part four i get all that i get it all the movies i'm showing you i have the original from uh from the uh from, from the original movie the first movie then the sequel so i have all the first ones i've seen them all so i'm just saying i feel like the sequels are better than the first my opinion all right next i have uh godzilla king of um of the monsters uh part one i've seen the remake uh to me i'm not gonna lie to you i thought it was a little boring uh hella dark i didn't really see much going on but uh, I didn't say it was bad, but I, there just wasn't enough Godzilla. But Godzilla and the King of the Monsters, I really enjoyed it. it, brought, it I, um, I'm not a huge Godzilla fan or, or um, and stuff like that, but I really, when it comes to this monster universe they're trying to build, I really love the Godzilla and the, um, the King of the Monsters Part 2 of the Godzilla uh, remake. It did, I believe, in 2018 or 19, something around there. But, uh, you know, but when I heard it was coming out with Kong versus Godzilla, I'm one of those guys that got to go back and watch Part 1 and Part 2 and, you know, King Kong, Skull of uh, King of something like that. But uh, I went back, I was seeing Godzilla 1, they gave it a good rewatch, and I seen this, and I was like, wow, I really enjoyed this one more than I did Godzilla. So I felt like this one is clearly better than the first one. All right, next, if y'all haven't seen that movie X, um it's more of a texas chainsaw massacre feel when you watch it but the sequel uh pearl aka is a is like a prequel it's a prequel of x but uh this came out uh last year um and i think it came out last year or x came out last year either way movies is like maybe six months apart so I think X came out last year, and I think six months later, this came out. So, Pearl, if you haven't seen it, check this out. I like this way better than X. X is not bad, but I, I prefer to watch Pearl. Uh, of uh, uh, Watch Pearl first. So, if y'all go and want to watch um, X, watch Pearl first. Watch Pearl first, and then X. Um, it's a good movie. I enjoy it. Start with uh, Mia Goff. Uh, never really know it since I watched X. But when I watched it in X, I really wanted to watch um, um, Pearl when I heard it was coming up with a prequel. So I watched it. I love it way more than I watched X. So watch Pearl. Y'all enjoy it. All right. So that's um, 10, 9, 8. So we start with number 7. Number 7. This one was hard, but I really did enjoy The Conjuring 2 more than I did the original Conjuring. Uh, when I watched The Conjuring Part 1, I watched it at home. I did like it. Uh, when I watched Conjuring 2, I went to the movies and it gave a great movie experience and movie theater experience. And I really love the second one better than the uh, first one. I just feel like the, I just feel like it was just um, better. I ain't saying part one was bad, but if I had to choose out of the trilogy, I will pick uh, part two. I feel like um, Conjuring um, 3. I, I ain't really like it. I'm going to give it another rewatch. When I first seen it, I, I was disappointed because I was like, damn, part one and part two was good. And part three was, uh, so I'm going to give part three another watch. But part two is definitely better than the first. All right, so that's 10, 9, 8, 7. Let's go to six. 
six i couldn't i ain't had the individual but i had the box set and that's um aliens i feel like aliens the sequel was better than the first one i know a lot of people love the first one and i'm i love the first one as well but aliens the sequel is way better i'm not talking about aliens three and four uh what was it mixed arrestion whatever i didn't really fuck with those two as much but aliens alien and aliens aliens is way better than the first one in my opinion i enjoy it i enjoy uh the characters i enjoy the, the movie itself i enjoy the action i'm a huge sci-fi fan so um aliens will always have a special you know spot when it comes to sci-fi and i always going to say that the second one is way better than the first one so if you haven't seen it please check out alien the aliens y'all will love them both but i feel like part two is clearly better than the first all right so it was uh five already so i'm gonna go on my top five sequels that i feel like is better than the original number five i have top gun maverick um i don't really remember much of top gun so when i heard it was coming out of the sequel of course i always had to give a rewatch of the second one i brought the sequel without even seeing it i didn't go to the movies i know it was popping off a lot of people was talking about oh this is so great whatever like that so i was like you know what let me watch the first one to give me a reminder of the movie so i brought the first one it's cheap the thing was only for five bucks i sat home watched it at home it wasn't bad i enjoyed it so i was like all right let me watch the second one. second one is clearly the best out of the first if you haven't seen uh top gun maverick please check it out a lot of people say it's the best sequel of any movie of all time i'm not saying that but it's definitely better than the first, and I really enjoyed the movie. I think I watched the movie like five times already. Uh, the this, this, the uh, 4K is great. The 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 sound is great. It just bring the movie even more alive. Um, trust me, Top Gun Maverick is clearly the better one out of the Top Gun, if you want to call it series. I I'm heard they talking in the third. I don't know all about all that, but I think Top Gun uh, Maverick clearly is better than the first. All right, number four on my list, I have Logan. Yes, Logan is not the sequel. Logan is a third part of a uh, of a um, of a three movie series. I understand that, but Logan is clearly the best out of uh, Wolverine and out of um, uh, the Wolverine uh, X and Origin story, something like that. Wolverine, whatever it's called, but Logan is clearly the best. Hugh Jackman uh, was supposed to be last call of playing a wolverine but it turned out it's not he already signed on to play the comeback as wolverine and deadpool which i'm excited to see next year but um logan is clearly better than the first uh better than the sack i do think wolverine is better than um the first but logan is clearly better than the other two so i had to put uh logan went to the movies twice to see this movie and uh as soon as it hit four came through ray i brought it i love it definitely better than first all right now come down to the uh top three on my list and I, y'all seen this movie plenty of times number three the dark knight clearly i feel like the dark knight is better than uh, batman begins uh and also I always say it's better than in the trilogy it's better than um uh what's it called dark knight rises but can't i'm not going to say much on this one you already know how i feel about the dark knight i feel like it's the best out of uh, any Batman movie by far, and I feel like uh, it's clearly better than Batman Begins. So I'm gonna keep moving, talk about that movie a lot in my videos. Uh, number two in my top 10 uh, sequels better than uh, the original, and that's um, Captain America, The Winter Soldier. Um, and it was t- it was between Dark Knight and Captain America. I went with Captain America with number two on my list is because one, I always thought Captain America was a corny ass superhero, and I never was really feeling them. So when I went to the movies and seen the first one, I was like, eh, it's alright, whatever. But when when the Soldier came out, it changed everything how I thought about Captain America as the character, and um, how he was building them in uh, the MCU, and just this movie alone had uh, made me look at him differently, and. Um, so from that, and I, you know, I always thought Batman was uh, was a top notch super, uh, superhero, but Captain America, I didn't really know much about. But uh, watching Winter Soldier made me want to learn more about the character, and just watching this movie made me want to do that. I had to put it as number two on my list. So Winter Soldier clearly better than the first one, and number one on my list, number two, uh, 
I mean, it's a huge important movie in my uh, in my childhood, and it changed. It just made me want to enjoy movies, and um, it was an easy pick in my opinion. It was no question. That's um, Terminator 2: Judgment Day. Love this movie. I was a huge fan of Arnold Schwarzenegger. Um, in the um, late 80s, early 90s. And uh, I remember my parents took me to see this and I love it. I fell in love with it when I watched it one time. I had to watch it again. And uh, I always say, and it will always go down as Terminator 2 being the greatest sequel. It, a lot of people say Maverick. A lot of people forgot about Terminator 2 uh, just to change the game when it came to sci-fi and special effects and all that. So I get it. Top Gun Maverick was a great sequel from the first, but Terminator 2 Judgment Day is, uh, is great. And if I had to go down and go over this list again, I think Terminator 2 will always be top on the list. So that's for being said, that's my top 10 movies in my personal collection. But I felt like the sequels are better than the first. I'm pretty sure everybody had their own opinions. That's fine. I'm just sharing my personal list. Um, if you'd like to put a comment, uh, let me know what's your uh, favorite sequel that felt like that was better than the first. Please let me know. Uh, I'd like to hear from y'all a little bit more. I will appreciate that. Please click that like button. Please subscribe. Dads, y'all have a great Father's Day. I'm definitely going to enjoy mine. Uh, talk to y'all soon and have a good one.